Cheers! Welcome, Welcome to, to Movie, Movie Bitches. Bitches! Episode 283! Tonight, I am reviewing. <laughs> and April is um, suffering? Predicting? Predicting, um, avoiding Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. But first things first, shout out to our Patreon supporters. $5 a month gets you ad-free early access. $10 gets you access to our viewing parties. Second thing second, make sure to click that subscribe button. Share. Whole. Make sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Letterboxd. Oh boy. So, yes, we are here. Well, we are here to discuss... Yes, the fourth Indiana Jones movie. <laughs> You're a... a teacher? Part time. There was no way I could imagine this would be worse than Crystal Skull. No. I, I couldn't fathom. I it. can't imagine a worse movie than Crystal Skull. <laughs> well, okay, so we're sharing. Okay, so everyone talks about how the prequels ruin their lives uh. and, you know, whatever and blah, 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 blah. I was just young enough mm -hmm. that I knew they weren't great, mm -hmm. but I wasn't mad because I was seeing a Star Wars movie at midnight. Yeah. So I was like, I mean, this isn't good, but I'm not sad and angry and depressed. Right. Roll out to Crystal Skull. Ooh. I've never been more like despondently just like sad yeah. in a film. Like where I was just like, I my childhood is dying in front of me. Um, where people get exaggerated about the prequels and fair enough. That's how I felt about Crystal Skull, where I was genuinely like, I feel like uh, my childhood died. And, and having said that, I, I fully understand that. I think you would absolutely 100% hate this movie. Yeah, I could not do it. I had to say I'm out, um, but I did write down some predictions Great. based on the very minute knowledge that I have of it. Love it. So we'll go through that now sure. and see where we're at. Yeah. So I have not seen the trailer. Right. I've seen the poster. Great. I saw that one clip that got released on Twitter where they're in Tuk Tuk's yep. or something yep. like that. Yep. You think he'd be proud of this? I read and saw somewhere that they had de-aged Harrison Ford mm -hmm. back to 1944. Mm -hmm. That, I, they, I'm just giving, like laying down what I knew, right? And it takes place in 69, I believe. Yes. Those are the only things that I know. Okay, great. About Dial of Destiny and James yes. Mangold directed it. Yes. So you know it's at least going to be competent. Yes. Lee made. It was. <laughs> okay, so here's my guesses. 1969, Space Race. We're trying to, you know, get to the moon. Mm -hmm. Hopefully Harrison Ford isn't in a moon suit. Okay. Thank God. Okay. So <laughs> space race. Um, but we also have 1944 flashbacks, right? At we some started point. 1944. Oh, boy. Okay. But okay. This makes sense. Okay. So opening scene, I'm sure. 1944. He's trying to get the Dial of Destiny from Nazis. Assuming it's 44. D-Day. You know? Yep. Uh, something's going on. And uh, it's lost to time. No one sees it for till 1969. And then the thread picks up again. And there's a new lead on where to find the style of destiny because it can shift time or, or is, it, is it like a big um, hourglass? No. Okay. Is it, is it like a watch? Bigger. Okay, okay. Anyway, so yes, it can shift, you know, uh, one, you know shift the, the outcome of something, mm -hmm. I'm assuming one way or the other. Uh -huh. And so he has to stop the Russians from getting to the moon first? Question mark? No. The Americans have already landed on the moon when okay. we... Okay. So we already won the space race once we got there. Correct. Okay. According to this film, and possibly true alligator events, mm. the help of Nazi scientist and rocketeer... Oh, yeah. We, you know, said, yeah, come over and build rockets for us. We don't care right. that you were working with the Nazis. Right. That happened. I did think that that did happen. That happened in reality. Yeah. Okay, so then that's my guess, and they have to, I don't know, stop the Cold War from getting hot? That's my plot guess. Okay, great. Then character guesses. Okay, Phoebe Waller-Bridge is Marcus Brody's daughter. He's died. Indy feels uh, indebted to him and has to protect her. Okay. But she's gonna, like, double-cross him and then ultimately redeem herself by the end. So 
close. Okay, okay. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Oh, God, Karen Allen's probably going to show up and just be, like, sad on a ranch in Indiana and be like, oh, Mutt died? I think that Shia LaBeouf's character's name was Mutt. Oh. Um, close, but no, but close. She's not barefoot on a big veranda, like, oh, Indy, I, I would love that, our but... son! Has perished. No, luckily uh, we just hear of the despair. We don't see it. Okay. Uh, there, there is an appearance. Okay. But, but... okay, because uh, I'm assuming they're gonna try and distance themselves as far as they can from Crystal Skull. They really don't mention it at all. Because they've opened an alien can of worms, yep. and I don't know how we come back from that. Yeah. You know, like I don't know how indie. Yep goes on being like and then there were aliens that came and gave us our you know you know i mean at least the secrets died with mutt but indy i don't know so anyway dear god i'm assuming they don't cgi sean connery right he's no. just a picture he's just a fading memory oh my dad has di has passed since the last movie right they don't even reference him good i think they say this was my dad's watch the dial of destiny no. okay no. <laughs> that's it Oh, nailed it. They had to grave rub Henry Jones's, get that watch back to save America. So um, I'm assuming that there was at least a Kihikwan short round cameo. Not a one. They didn't even get him in there for a post credit scene. There was no post credit scene. Oh, I really thought they were going to try and make, shove that sure. in there. Because who owned, does Disney own Indiana Jones at this point? It's Disney, Paramount, Lucasfilm. Because... Um, Lucasfilm and Paramount released right. it originally. Because uh, Kehi Kwan is in some Star Wars thing now. Oh, I'm sure. No, I mean, he is. He's on some Star Wars show. I, I don't know which one. Get him in there, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. Just uh, for like a quick... Uh, I mean, they had a whole you know? reunion, you know. <laughs> oh, God. Well, I'm assuming Sala shows up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Does he talk about bad dates? <laughs> no. Oh. They don't make it. And no. Bad dates. I don't remember if I have mentioned this on camera yet or not, okay. but Ilsa from Last Crusade uh -huh. is crazy imperialist white lady from RRR. Right. Try this one. Aren't you quite vicious, my dear? So, even though we all imagine that she died when she fell down that pit, ah, ah. you know, Maybe. Darth Maul is still alive. Yeah. And she wasn't even cut in half. So I'm going to imagine that that makes perfect sense for Ilsa. I do. I love Somehow that. Somehow she crawled her way out of that pit. Made it to India. Made it to, found, found a rich English person, yep. Englishman, yep. Uh, married him, and was a sadistic bitch for the rest of her life. <laughs> I'm glad that's where her story ended up, you know? <laughs> anyway, so those were my kind of ancillary. Great. Uh, based on the, the few snippets that I knew. I would say you pretty much nailed it. <laughs> Do you want to hear, you know? Yeah, of course. So tell, okay, so, great. Okay, so we'll see as we go on. Uh, and... How upset you get. Oh, boy. So, yes. we start off 1944. Fighting the Nazis. Is he on the beaches of Normandy? No, he is in unknown location in a treasure trove of stolen artifacts and goods. Okay, right, because the Monuments Men. Yes, all that, yes, you know. very that. Yeah, exactly. Sneaking These belong in a museum. Exactly, very that. Sneaking, you know, around trying to find things. Are there snakes? Uh, not yet. Okay. <laughs> I mean, Actually, I no. Not at all, but we'll get there. But there is a clear... Well, we'll so, okay. I'm the sorry, movie... I'll try and not ask too no, many no, no, no. questions. No, 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 it's fine, ask okay. away. So I will say, the movie overall, yeah. much better than I thought it was going to be. Sure. I would, it's... There were no aliens. There were no aliens, although it gets a little close, but there were no aliens. These are interdimensional beings. They're not extraterrestrials, they're interdimensional. Steven actually didn't like that idea. There is time travel, so we'll, we'll talk about it. <laughs> and there is horrific CGI de-aging that I really, oh. just really hate. Because um, there was some article, and I thought, Harrison, you don't believe in this. But right? he was saying, wow, that's exactly how I looked at 34 or something. And I said, no, it's not. That's, you, I mean, of course, like, it's close, whatever. But I was like, 
The PR people told you to say of that. Course, what are you going to say? Course. It looks like garbage? No, right. you're not going to say that. Right. But come on. Come on. Are you guys ready? Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. let's yeah. shoot this piece of shit. Let's do it. So, okay, a couple things. Yeah. I think it sticks really true to the formula, let's say, of an Indiana Jones movie. They don't stray far away from the plot. Like, it, it hits James the beats. James Mangold. Yeah. You know, it's going to be fine. It hits the beats. It's far too long. All three, fourth one doesn't exist. Although I will say, I think uh, maybe Crystal Skull's greatest attribute is its running time, because I don't remember oh. it being overly long. Okay, great. Two hours and two minutes. Okay. So, same, okay. All four yeah. of the first movies yeah. were around two hours. Hour 57 to two hours and four minutes was mm -hmm. the longest one. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Two hours and 23 minutes. No. 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 They could have cut a full 20 minutes. Most of them in car chases. It was just too long. Oh, boy. None of it feels very real. Mm. And the sum of it was good, but for the most part, for me, yeah. it was like, well, this is just CGI nonsense and it looks fake and this is stupid. You have 80 year old Harrison Ford jumping across a rickshaw, running across CGI Harrison Ford, running across the top of a Nazi train. This looks dumb. It's like when they de aged. Uh, Robert De Niro in The Irishman, God. but he's still 80. It's like so disturbed, like he looks young, but he's walking like he's 80 and you're like, this guy's lived a rough life. Yeah. yeah. What's happening? What's going on? He's like throwing a punch like he's 80 and you're like, I'm, something's wrong. Something's wrong. They didn't have that. Okay. They didn't have that. Uh, they still, for me, they apparently changed his voice, but for me, it sounded still like- 80 year old. Older, let's say, Harrison sure. Ford. Yeah. You were alone? I like to be alone. You can just hear it. It's see different. It. It's different. He's lived a life. And it's just, for me, this weird, uncanny valley where you're like, it looks like him. Like, it really does look like. Sure. Well, I will also say, though, for me, the real, I got real bogged down. <laughs> you got in the weeds. For most of the movie, trying to figure out dates. Bad dates. Because okay. I had just watched Raiders of the Lost Ark. Where he 1935. was... 1935. Yes. And he is 37, I think, when he filmed it? Something like that? No. No. 38. Yeah. I think he was 38 years old when he filmed it. Damn. But he looks so young in that movie. Ugh. And like just charming But you know, AF. one of the reasons Temple of Doom is so good is because mm -hmm. it's like the horniest one. Mm. He's, he's like a man yeah. in that one. Was it you? Someone sent us... Like, just slides of hot Harrison Ford pictures, yes, right? Yes, there was like four April. And all the comments were just like, oh, I was not ready for this. Oh, I squealed out loud. Oh, and April was like, ah! this was how I knew. <laughs> I would, I assume that like nine-year-old April or whatever it was, was yeah. like, mm, hello. <laughs> Kermit the Frog. Yep. And there was Harrison Ford. There, there you go. <laughs> that was the trajectory. Right. And it was... And then somewhere after there was Richard Dreyfuss. I don't know. Oh, yeah. So I don't know. Huh. And mine was... Mary Martin, Peter Pan, <laughs> Batman and Robin. I had a rough childhood, okay? I wasn't watching fucking Batman and Robin. <laughs> Chris O'Donnell Chris O'Donnell, yes. <laughs> and then I guess, um... Ah, great Harry Ho. Anyway, uh, yes, so, anyway. um, young... Well, okay, I'll ask you this. Do we yeah. need... The flashbacks. No. Really. No, here's the like, problem. Really. Here's the huge problem. Yes. Okay, so wait, now that I've said it, right, it is a fun movie, really good popcorn, summer romp. 
too long, but otherwise, I had a good time at the movies. Okay. It's like, you know, Dungeons and Dragons. I really had a great time. Right. Felt like a kind of classic-y movie. Sure. You know, not obviously Princess Bride, but like those vibes. Sure. Right? A fun adventure. And for me, it was too long. Yeah. The CGI was bad. Yeah. I liked it. It. Yes. But I also don't have a... And you don't have the nostalgia factor for that like you would for this. Yeah. Where for the first 20 mo- minutes of this movie, Oof. it's CGI'd, de-aged no, Indiana Jones. Minutes. At least. It's so long. Oh, no. There's an entire chase scene the, over a train and he's talking no. and fighting and it was like, So no. it's just a video game. It's just a video game. It was a video no. game. And also it felt like the ride... <laughs> I asked for archaeologists, uh, yeah. and they brought me tourists. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that, that. It yeah. was that. It was just weird. <laughs> I just didn't like it. That would honestly probably look better. Just like a, you know, it's like like a, a, a prosthetic. Yeah, yeah, whatever, I'm yeah. like, okay, yeah. I can kind of see you as we were. That looks so realistic to me. Looks like Harrison Ford. He's supposed to. I mean, this is the movie, right? <laughs> so anyway, you were yeah. pretty spot on. So he's in this Nazi camp. Oh my God! There's a real shadow in the cloud moment. <laughs> a bomb. Falls. Are there gremlins? No, if only. <sighs> no, a bomb falls yeah. and lands at his feet. He, he just, and the Nazis are all like, ooh. It starts to fall through a hole. Uh, uh, there's like a carpet covering a hole. I'm not sure. That seems like a real bad idea. But anyway, whatever. It's very Looney Tunes. Uh, very. Lo- yeah. It was very Looney Tunes. It falls down yeah. and then explodes. He's oh right, he's being hanged at the top of this attic in this giant Nazi The Nazis building? are bothering to hang him or they shoot him? I have no idea. Just shoot him. Thank shoot you. him right in the face. I suppose we're just gonna have to kill him. <laughs> oh! He's he's tied right up. In a CGI face. They're they're waiting to hang him. Yeah. And and I was like, why? None of this makes any sense, but sure. Yeah. Then the bomb explodes this entire and saves him from building. being hung. It blows him up. Then he falls on the ground, but then he almost falls. And then the the giant gargoyle that he was being hanged from um wow. falls down and luckily he slips oh, so the noose off of his it's neck. It's very raiders with like the statues and the Yes. Sort of, but less real. Well obviously. It was all so stupid. <laughs> I was like, this is nonsense. Well obviously. The giant bomb exploded. Everyone is dead. There's a firebomb. He was hanging from the air and I thought, what? No. Anyway. But if it had been in a real setting with a real actor with realistic stunts, uh-huh. somehow you believe it. Maybe. Right. Even like, then. I'm sure. Well, there's stuff in these where you're like, okay. yeah, that's true. You know what I mean? That's true. But because it's real and it's supposed to be this fantasy and this um, serialized adventure, yes. you're like, I'll let it slide because I can see that, you know, he's, yeah, he's physic- basically a superhero. He's physically there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. On the bridge, right. he's there. I can R- see it. Right. Know? When he's a when he's a CGI de-aged actor, then you're your like, brain is doing all sorts of weird loops, being like, "But this is just fake." What? Yeah. He doesn't look like that for forty years. So anyway. Yeah. Before that, we'd overheard Mads Mix Mad Mads, Mads Mickelson. Mads Mickelson. My God, I don't. I have a tough one with that one. I confused him with um. Uda Matthias. Kier. Oh, Matthias. Oh, and Uda. They do, the three of them could play like weird, creepy brothers. Ooh. I mean, speaking up. I okay. mean, they're supposed to be twins, but like I keep seeing these ads because they remade Dead Ringers, the David Cronenberg movie. Great. With in the original, it's Jeremy Irons. Okay. Creepy, weird sexuality. Oh, oh you're. It's Jeremy Irons. So right. you're like, oh, I'm uh. Uh huh, uh-huh. and uh, Genevieve Beaujau, and she's so fabulous, and you're like, yes, no, what, no, yes, <laughs> and in the new one, it's Rachel Weiss as the weird, oh. creepy twin gynecologist, and uh, I haven't watched it, but I just like can't imagine how that translation would be interesting at all. So let me know. Okay. But I just can't imagine. Like she's supposed to be a villain. Yeah. In the movie, it's like they're twins, and one of them's shy, and one of them's not, and they like switch places on oh. people, and they're like creepy gynecologists, and it's like fucked up and weird. Oh, and why, like, I want to see her as a creepy gynecologist. I know, so I'm like, what's this though? You know, who is she I could switching see places and fucking guys, or is she? Oh, right. What's happening? Don't yeah. remake it. Don't remake it. Sure. Nobody can really just like make that stuff sing like Cronenberg. Anyway, I just, I just, I can't fathom. How, okay, great. But, so but, notes. Anyone have? Thoughts and feelings? But Mads Mikkelsen and Udo Kier in some sort of... Ooh, sure, yes. You know, yeah, ooh. ooh. Weird twin... Twin brother you know. evil. Uh-huh. And then Matthias shows up. And Matthias Kunitz? <laughs> yeah. I have to have Matthias. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. We have to... 
We have to have Matthias Gunnels. We have to have Matthias. We we have to have we have to have a. <laughs> um, anyway, so Max right, Mikkelsen right. is evil Nazi. Of course. Of course. So he is searching for the Führer, of course. Of course. Who is a scientist and yeah. who is looking for the Führer for the Dial blade? Of destiny. No, the blade that killed Jesus. Oh. And I didn't think that that was a thing. I thought he was um, crucified. Well, they stab him with a pointy thing. Oh, okay, for great. The, you know, when you're when you're crucified, they they poke you too. They poke you too, so that oh. you. We don't need to get into it. Great. I, anyway, I was having flashbacks to history class the other day uh, about it, and I was ooh. like, "Wow, I'm still kind of surprised they told us." Why about did they taught that? It. Teach that in history class. Well, like the history of crucifixion, not necessarily Jesus. Gotcha. 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 Anyway, yes, he's trying to find that. Uh, I almost said Bond. <laughs> Speaking of, uh -huh. I think the only way for this series to continue would have been, okay, we've gone back in time. Maybe we need the Dial of Destiny. We've gone back in time to pre-Crystal Skull era, right? Uh -huh. And we've just decided, okay, those three movies, they're fabulous. Right. Let's James Bond this. Get a new, fabulous, handsome yep. character. No one's Harrison Ford. I get it. I mean, no one's got... That. All of it. You know, it. Like, yeah. he's... It's insane. <laughs> But I think that's the only way for it to survive because aged, like Indiana Jones shouldn't mature or evolve or age. We'll get there. He's just, you know, adventuring man who's yeah. handsome and fabulous and suave and it's James Bond. Like you don't want to see elderly James Bond. Yeah. That's not where we're going. Like I don't care. Like I don't need James Bond's backstory. Sure. No, I don't need you it. You know, it's there, but I don't need it. Yeah. So I think they should have, you know, said, okay, haha, -ha, farewell, and continued on, and we can just have a rotating, you know, yeah. if they're going to keep doing this. They, I, could, they could stop. It, it feels like they, they said no. I said no! Sorry, no. He has this British friend played by Toby Jones, okay. who's an archaeologist who gets caught up in it, and he was trying to find it with Indy and save all of the archaeological facts from the Nazis. Does he get killed immediately? Uh, uh, no. Oh. Uh, I've been on many great adventures with you, Indy. Uh... I go first, Indy. No, it's not no, that. It's not that. Okay. No, instead, he gets taken on to the train with Mads, ah. and Indiana Jones um, is in a car that trying to get away, but then like Nazis get put in his car, and then he has to ditch the Nazis. He's like the driver, and they're like, "Yeah, go." You oh, know? he's pretend. They Chow. don't know it's Indiana Jones. No. Yeah. Oh. They, uh, they think he's just he's like in a Nazi outfit or does whatever. Does he put it on? It's too tight. Y yes. Really? Yes. It's a lot of it's a lot of the same beats. <laughs> wow. And so it's just kind of like, well, oh, that thing again. Oh, Did instead CGI... of snakes, it's eels. Okay, we'll get there. Eels, you say? Yep. Did DH CGI Harrison Ford have chest hair? No. <gasps> Not that they showed. They, Rude! I don't think they really showed him shirtless. It was just that it was too tight. But in the in the original, when he puts it on, it's too tight. I, I that nice. I don't remember. It seems shiny. Chest. Kind of hair. like everything else was just. You know. Oh man, it's too bad. Okay, yeah. Anyway, car chase. Then he gets on the train. Bus. Club. Another club. Another club. Another club. Plane. Then CGI silly. He's leaping. It was really stupid. Yeah. Then he's like working his way through each car of Nazis. So it's the opening of Last Crusade with River Phoenix when he's on the circus train. I don't remember. <gasps> when he goes through all the, there's like, oh no, the snakes. Oh no, the all the animals. And he's making his way through all the... There's no animals, it's just Nazis, but, but yes. like, car by car? Car by car. Anyway, it turns out he finds the blade. Yeah. Oh, it's a fake. Mads Mikkelsen realizes this as well or something, and he's like, oh, other crazy evil Nazi. What are we going to do? We can't tell the Fuhrer that it's a fake. So, but we do have this... But he's not an archaeologist. Just lie to him. Well, right? I mean, I don't know. You're like, I, right? This is it. I, Hitler, we, we, we found it. Oh, nailed we, it. Oh, it isn't powerful? No, they don't do that. He's like, but we do have yeah. this... 
Apotheros or Akapathy. I forget what it was called. It was some Greek word. Okay. Archimedes Dial of Destiny. But it's only half of it. Uh, of course. We need to find the other half. Oh my God, of course. Toby Jones and Indy snag it and have a whole other long, it's like another five minutes of train chasing. Bus, club, another club, another club, another club, plane. And there's a machine gun that's like taking out Nazis on the side of the train. And Is it Sala? No, 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 like, because the, the Americans are also shooting, there's planes, uh -huh. Amer American planes shooting at the train. Sure. And then the anti-aircraft gun gets shot, but then okay. it gets, like, knocked akimbo, okay. and so it's now shooting Got at it. this, the train on the curve. Got it. Then the American planes bomb the bridge. Oh, the no. bridge is out! It's out? Oh, no! Yes. The bridge is out! What? The bridge is out! CG Ed Harrison Ford and yep. Toby Jones leap with the dial of death. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, my God. Mads Mikkelsen yeah. steals it. <gasps> is on the side of the train. Yeah. Whack. Gets knocked off the train mm. and presumably killed oh, no. by a water tower or He's some other sort. He's going to show up later with a horrific scar, right? And Damn you, Indiana Jones! But so anyway, so then they are wash up ashore. Yeah. Haha, we have it. We're alive. Isn't that great? Cut to 1969. Oof. Credits. 20, I think 20 minutes in, if not longer, into this movie. It Oof. was like, wow. I was afraid that the whole movie was just going to be CGI de-aged Indiana Jones. Well, you know, I'm... I, I almost might have preferred it. Because no. Because then, no. he, it's 80-year-old no. Harrison Ford. Don't you dare say that. And he still does have charisma. Yeah. But it just felt, for me, yeah. sad. Mm. Because like you said, I don't know who needs to see aged Indiana Jones. Right. You know, and he's running through the streets and punching Nazis Look, and you're like, good for you. He's still in shape. He looks great. Yeah. We love Harrison Ford. Of course. But, you know. It just doesn't have the same panache. I don't know. Anyway. How's the color temperature? Disgustingly brown? Not terribly so, but yes. Okay. It's not quite Christopher Nolan-y right. or, you know, Clint Eastwood-y. Yeah. But it is definitely not as bright and campy as you would want it to be. Right. So, so, cut to 1969, he's angry old man yelling at his loud neighbors who are blasting the Beatles because it is a moon Which day. Which song? Uh, oh, a Magical Mystery Tour. Okay. It was very loud. I was in the, like, AMC Prime Theater. Everything was fucking booked. It was crazy. I want to see IMAX just because, like, why not? But no. Uh, but it was so fucking loud. Oh. And it was like, oh my god. I don't think Indiana Jones is the type of person that likes music. No, it seems like not. But in general, like, sure. I don't know if I was like, hmm, what music does he like? I think I'd say, I don't think he cares. No, Unless I don't think so. Unless it has some sort of archaeological, sure, you know, yeah. playing the bones, you know. Playing the bones, there but you the, go. But, you know, anyway, okay. I mean, we got to play the bones to get out of here. Exactly. So, quick much break. <laughs> we will be back with more CGI. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, angry old man, oh, the, they landed on the moon. The astronauts are coming back. You know, it was that. Yeah. Um, then he's, like, teaching in class. Sure. And everyone there is like, I don't fucking care about this. I want to be outside with the parade. And I'm like, yeah. why is there still class today then? <laughs> it seems like that wouldn't be a thing. Anyway. Is he wearing a wedding ring? Did, yes. Did Karen Allen and him make it? Uh, no. He. <gasps> oh, well, he sadly looks at the divorce papers ah. and moves a magnet on top of her face as he leaves to go to class, he's depressed. They, as he de describes later, couldn't make it through the grief of losing their son who died in the war. Well, it's really just the same thing they did to Han Solo. Mm -hmm. He has not aged, you know, uh, emotionally. Right. He, he's the exact same person. Yep. He has uh, the love of his life. Their relationship has crumbled. Yep. They've lost their son to either death or the dark side. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Anyway, so he's teaching this class. Phoebe Waller-Bridge is in the back. Turns out she is Toby Jones's daughter. Okay. Well, to in this that scenario, Toby Jones did seem to be the Marcus Brody. Uh, Insert uh, character here. Of, of, of type, yes. You were not far off. She is Indiana's goddaughter. Okay. That's a bad decision, Toby Jones. Well, you know. <laughs> so anyway, apparently it was all going fine. Right. Until 
we discover through conversation in a bar that takes forever. When she was 12 years old, 18 years ago or whatever, he and Toby Jones got in a fight. Uh. Toby wanted him to destroy the, the dial, dial. Uh. because he thought that it could predict fissures in time and uh. was dangerous. Uh -huh. And he was obsessed and it was causing all sorts of problems. And Harrison Ford was like, okay, buddy, yeah, sure, I'll definitely destroy it. And then he just took it home and kept it in a file cabinet where he then shows it to her. Then they are bombarded ah. by goons of, turns out to be... Mads Mikkelsen. Mads with Mikkelsen. A new fresh scar on his face. Well, no scars. Well, it's old. Well, but he does have something... Does he have a half, um, half metal face? No. No. Kill them. Hold on for a second. I've got call waiting. Yes. Kill them. Kill him immediately. He just looks like an old Nazi. Okay. Whatever that looks like. Was he like. just flying from Argentina? Or uh, no, he's from Alabama because he has successfully helped them land the moon. He is oh, not a Nazi. He's the rocket he, guy. He's the rocket guy. Uh, but they don't know that he's a Nazi. So stand in Von Braun. Yes. Uh, right. But I, but I think in real life they knew he was a Nazi and they were just like, just come work for us and oh, we'll yeah, let it go. Oh yeah, they were like, you know... Uh, <laughs> come, come, come to America. Come to yeah, work visa. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, in this he's like, no, my name is Schmidt and I wasn't a Nazi. <laughs> and he's working with this real like Foxy Jones type. Oh. And then uh, another guy that kind of looks like Austin Butler. Okay. Um, who's just real trigger happy, shoots oh. a bunch of people. Oh. Oh right, because because Harrison Ford had his retirement party that day. <laughs> No wonder he's so upset. Yeah. You know, it's just lots of sad stuff, right? right. <laughs> okay, he's divorced. Oh, his son died. Oh, he's retired and no one cares about anything that he has to teach. And, you know, <laughs> the progress of time and all oh, these new kids and no one gives a shit. And it's like, okay, okay, we fucking get it. Jesus Christ, Clint Eastwood, get off your fucking stool. Um, Stop talking to that chair. <laughs> exactly. They show up shoot all of his friends from the retirement party. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's pretty bleak. Jesus Christ. Just like full on, he shoots two people in this like archaeology department at the school. Oh no! Yes. What? Yes. yes. Phoebe Waller Bridge hops out. She yeah. runs away with the dial. Because she knew the whole time. I mean, she's involved. Oh, right? well, she, she knew something, right? So she, she, you know, she's yanking his chain. Um, is that. <laughs> She would never. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. No, 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 no. Chase pursues through yep. the streets during this parade. Chase dreams? I'm so ah. sorry. <laughs> Chase dreams! This would have been really fun yeah. if, of course, it didn't look really stupid. Yeah, 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 yeah. He rides a horse through the subway uh, in a scene that looks really dumb. The subway? Uh-huh. On the track? Yes. What if the horse hits the line and gets electrocuted? Luckily it didn't. It almost gets hit by an oncoming train, but luckily there was an opening and they jump through it and Where then they jump back on right in time are before... Are we? New York, 1969. He's living in New York. Yeah, That right? seems wrong. It seems wrong. I don't know it why. It all just seems wrong. I don't know why, but that seems wrong. I was just like, oh, what? Huh? And then, of course, I was like, this, so this is where he's 80 years old and sad and old. And I'm like, 1945 right. to 1969 right. is 25 years. Right. Right? And he's I was like. He's lived a hard life. I guess. Not the man I knew 10 years ago. It's not the years. It's the mileage. He's older than what he's supposed to be on screen. True. On screen, he's supposed to be like, I think, early 70s. Maybe, yeah. And in actuality, he's 80-something. Well, whatever. All that to say, I was lost in the math of it all for now, a while. Now, does Sean Patrick Flannery show up? I don't know who that is. He was young Indiana Jones on the Young no. Indiana Jones TV show. No. Not that I'm aware of. Maybe in some cameo. <laughs> I do not know. If they didn't get Kihi Kwan to show up, right? then they, they did not, not get yeah. Sean Patrick Flannery. I, I do not believe that they had Kihi Kwan. I would have recognized him, I assume. They would have done like a short round. You know, they right, would have right, done Right, right, no, like they a, didn't. Mm -mm. He like goes to visit. Oh, short round has a wife and a family now because, well, no, wait. Now, if short round was like eight right. in 1934, uh -huh. 10, maybe. Yeah. So he'd then be he'd like be. 40. Five-ish, 46. So, whatever. you know, oh, short round, you've got a family now and you're living whatever and you've got some sort of... They didn't. Okay. 
I think they were already in production by the time uh, Everything Everywhere exploded onto sure, the screen. Maybe. So they didn't quite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, because this got delayed several times. They didn't bank on, they didn't pick the right horse, you know, for that to, yeah. that through to line. To jump through the subway. Yeah. All of that happens. Turns out Phoebe Waller-Bridge has a fiance. Oh. Come on, fiance, I'm looking for him. <laughs> I have lost my fiance, the poor baby. <laughs> <laughs> Mafioso guy oh. in Tangier. Okay. Who owns a hotel. There's an auction of like old tiny, you know, stolen anthropologic goods yep. that she's going to go sell. But this it belongs Archimedes. in a museum. Of course or it does. in Indiana Jones's file cabinet. Yeah, weird. Anyway, so she uh, goes to auction off the dial. Yeah. Uh, Archimedes dial. Where Mads Mickelson shows up and is like, "We had a fucking deal, bitch. I would. This is mine." Indiana shows up and is like, "This is fucking mine. You stole it from me. What yeah. the fuck are you doing? Your father would be so disapproving." And then there's another chase scene. Bus, club, another club, another club, another club, plane. On the rickshaw that you saw. Oh, okay. Uh, where the CGI just looks so stupid. Very bad. You know. Very bad. You have 80 year old Harrison Ford just hopping from one thing to another, and you're like, his reflexes would not be this quick. At least if it was any kind of tangible place, mm -hmm. time, and he was, because I'm sure he did do a lot of his stunts. I'm sure he did. He is committed. Yes. So, but it looks so stupid looks with so all stupid. the other things involved. Everything colored in and a, a, yeah, it just doesn't work for me. Yeah. Oh, there's a new kid that she's with, right? Uh, he's yeah. like 14 or whatever. He's not like a child, but, uh, but still, he was fine. He wasn't a great actor. Her kid? Is some kid that she like met, he was trying to steal her purse, and then That's he wouldn't like go. Exactly she wouldn't like go. how Harrison Ford met Short Round, picking his pocket. Right. Oh boy. Oh, and then he picks the watch. He pickpockets his watch, and he's like, "That was my dad's watch," and then he gives it back. Then of course, Mads steals the the thing, yeah. the, the dial. Yeah. And they have to figure out where the other half of the dial is. Sure. And they go to find uh, Indy's old friend Sala? Antonio Banderas. Oh no. Oh, we'd already found Sala. Okay. Sala has grandkids. He wants to join. Uh, and Indiana's like, no, man, no. Give up hell, Indiana Jones. I don't have a life worth living. You do. <laughs> Apparently. If I die, no one gives a shit. Pretty much. Anyway. Yeah. So they go find Antonio Banderas on a boat so that he can take them to the shipwreck where they found the original half uh -huh. of the dial, this Roman ship. Turns out there was sponge divers that found it at like 30 feet, but then half of the ship sank 300 feet and the sponge divers couldn't get it. So sure. now Antonio Banderas brings them out and they're like jerry-rigged scuba diving rig. And they go scuba diving down. No, no. This is giving, there's this George C. Scott movie where they're ship diving, uh -huh. but he's just in a pants and button down the whole time. Oh no. With just like a stupid... But he's like cruising no. through, and you're like, what's, what's this? this though? Like he's in like a, you know, an office outfit the whole, oh, yikes. and it's so stupid looking. Yeah, no. Um, they yeah. have like wetsuits. Okay. Which I don't know, did neoprene exist in the 69s? Maybe. Maybe. I was going to look it up and then I forgot to. And Even if like, it didn't, I mean, there were other kinds of wetsuits that well, were Well, that's fair. That's neoprene. fair. That's fair. That's fair. But I'm saying in this movie, he's literally in a white No, I get you. That's stupid. And flax. Yeah, that's And that's it looks really dumb. so stupid. This, they had, at least, it wasn't like a tank of oxygen. They had like a, a rig and lines and hoses and whatever, right? It was it was silly. It was a man of honor? What was that? You know? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A man Co of the iron. What Cooper Gooding Jr. with the. Yeah. Move, I think that one, the butterfly, that's move. different. You know. Now you report to this line, Cookie. Police. What the fuck was it? I think it was called Man of Honor. I think you might be right. Robert De Niro? Yeah. Yelling at him to take a step? Take that step. Anyway. Anyway, they go down to this ancient Roman, Roman ship ruin with skeletons still. And I'm like, you guys, 2,000 years of the ocean, there are not skeletons, but whatever. But it's very Indiana Jones. <laughs> And instead of snakes, of course, there's eels. Electric eels? No, they bite you. And, well, they were kind of electric. And apparently they'll bite you and they'll lock their jaw. I don't know. It was a whole thing. Do you know what we are? 
We're fucking cock destroyers, aren't we, cock babe? Fucking destroyers. Yeah, fucking cock destroyers. We love to just get your dick and fucking despunk them fucking balls. How are they communicating? Okay, great. Well, that's better than 48 meters down. Down where they had headsets. Oh, my God. Right. Well, they did have big masks. Yeah, yeah. That may, like, maybe they could move their mouths in because it was like a big mask. I don't remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. but whatever. They, of course, magically find the code decipher ah. to to tell them where the other half of it was. Sure. But Does as, the little kid go scuba diving? No, the little kid doesn't know how to swim. Okay. So he stays up. And Tony Banderas is like, oh, you just reach and pull. Anyone can swim. Comes in handy later. Anyway, it's a good thing you didn't go down with them because, yeah. oh no, Mads Mikkelsen is coming up right behind us. Of course. And, you know, of course. He kills all the people on the boat. Oh my God. Except for the kid. <laughs> Pretty bleak. They come up, thank you, I'm going to steal this. Now I'm going to make you decipher the Pythagorean code or whatever it was. In front of me. Yep, Indy refuses. Yeah. So then he shoots Antonio Banderas. Oh! Um, which was pretty bleak. Sure. And so then she, Phoebe, is like, I'll fucking do it. I don't care. Because oh, her whole thing is, I'm just in it for the money. I just want the money. Sure. I just want money. So she deciphers it, but she doesn't tell him everything, of course. And she uses a stick of dynamite to blow up a hole in the boat. And they escape and get on the fancy boat yeah. that Mads Mikkelsen sure. showed up on. And she's like, ha ha, I've said it a million times. The dynamite will always get you through. And he, and he just literally like, my friend was just murdered. He's and I was like, like, thank you. At least someone said it. Like, this I need is to like, blink, right? She's like, woo, minute. crazy, right? Let's take it down a notch, bitch. <laughs> the map code that she read him was uh, coated in wax. He sets it on fire and it melts and there's a different metal gold coal code inside of it. Oh. They discover that it's really in Sicily, not in Greece where they said okay. and where they told Mads to go. But Mads, of course, was following them with binoculars before the boat sank. And then they get on the little dinghy and follow them to Sicily. And I'm like, this is all absurd. They would definitely be dead, but whatever. <laughs> Just row in their boat and show up four hours behind them. I don't fucking know. Whatever. <laughs> they go to the ear of Dionysius or whatever. Um, the ear? It's the cave. Oh, okay. It's called the ear of Dionysius. Gaia. Di Dionysus? Not Dionysus. Okay. I, Dionysus, god of drama. Dionysius. Similar but different. Okay. I think. Anyway, it's this big cave, then they go and they're wandering, and then of course there's a bunch of freaky, creepy bugs that are crawling all over them. Oh no! There's a creepy wooden bridge. Yep, yep. Well, Again, boom. that scene at the in the opening of Raiders with all the tarantulas on the back of Alfred Bellina. Exactly. CGI. Fucking stupid. It, Not it, scary at all. It still made me creepy crawly. It's like, woo! But, but it, it did look pretty stupid. And it, oh, when her, her flashlight doesn't work, oh all god, the, why won't this thing work? Yeah. Oh my god, the crazy creepy centipedes. Ah! All the bugs in Temple of Doom? Yeah. CGI? Yeah. Fucking stupid. Yeah. Again, you wouldn't like this movie. Yeah. Uh, so then there's a you know booby trap room uh, filled with methane gas. Of course. Of course. Archimedes loved his water displacement, so they put a bunch of stones and they stand inside the water, and then that opens up a gate that lets them slide into the sarcophagus room where they find the grave. You know, uh, uh, what's it called? The, the tomb. The tomb, tomb of Archimedes. She notices, isn't this weird? On the side of this tomb, hmm. what's this? And she's like, it's a phoenix. And she's like, but this phoenix has propellers. And then he's wearing a watch, and. He, it turns out that he has the other half of yeah. the, the thing and they put it together and now they have the whole... Wait, his father's watch was the other half no, 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 of the... No, 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 oh, no, 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 no. Archimedes was buried with the half Got it. of the... That was what the, the secret code said where it would be. <laughs> then, of course, Mads Mikkelsen is right behind them. They've kidnapped the kid and then he gets handcuffed to the super big German, uh, you know, Nazi, you know... Biplane? No, no, guy. Oh, I see. Beefy. Beefy guy. They fall off the, the wooden bridge. Oh, no! Um, he can't swim, the kid. Luckily, he had the keys in his mouth. He unlocks himself. And then he t handcuffs the big bully guy onto the like a grate underwater. Like, and you. is like, fuck you, dude. Thank God Antonio Banderas was there to give him a brief swimming lesson where oh, he says, right, reach, right. pull, reach, pull. I got two minutes to teach how to swim. You only got one lesson! Push with the left, pull with the right. Push with the left, pull with the right. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Frog kick, frog kick. He makes it out, saves the day-ish, not really, because he jumps onto Mads Mikkelsen, and then they shoot Indy. <gasps> ah, there's a whole gunfight. Do they find the... He gets shot. The Holy Grail and pour it on him, and so he... No, uh, no. Okay. No, he's shot in the, in the corner. But then for some weird reason, Mads Mikkelsen is like, mm, bring him with us onto our plane. So they... Well, maybe he'll help them discover the secrets of something. Well, you'll, we'll get there. You know, for, you know, for this guy. Destiny. 
Do they go in a Zeppelin? So, uh, no, not quite. <laughs> they do go into a World War II old-timey plane mm. that Mads Mikkelsen has had in a hangar nearby. Sure. Magically. They, they, they get there somehow. Phoebe and the kid are in short pursuit behind them. He reveals his whole evil plan. Ha ha, I am a Nazi. I mean, we already knew at this point, but, you know. Uh, he reveals Didn't it Harrison to... Ford know the whole time? He's seen him before. I heard when Harrison Ford met him, yeah. then he was like, you seem familiar. I remember a Nazi when I see one. I remember thing. your face from when I... Well, he's like, my memory is hazy, but I'm pretty sure you were a Nazi. It was funny. It was good. It's good delivery. You know, he's Harrison Ford, still Harrison, Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford! Yeah. So, yeah. Mads Mikkelsen, oh right, he shoots all of the CIA, is, Foxy um, Brown, and all of the Is Harrison Ford Americans. a grand zeddy? No. No, like, because he's... Old. Oh, because he's older now, but he's, he's still a zeddy. zeddy. He's a grand he's zeddy. He's a grand zeddy. Ah, I think that's, uh, I think that's complimentary. I think that means I'm sexy. Daddy. Um... Do we like it? No. Okay. Well, <laughs> threw it out there. Okay, great. Mads Mikkelsen reveals his entire evil plan. He thought that Hitler was an idiot. And <laughs> he was like, the, every year I saw the fucking mistakes. And he right. could have, he had something in a fire that could have burned for a thousand years. But no, he fucked it up. And so I'm going to go back in time and I'm going to kill Hitler. Oh. But fix all of the mistakes or out but Nazi. still... He's still pro Holocaust. Oh yeah, he's pro Nazi. <laughs> he's just he just okay. he was like he wasn't Nazi enough. That damn Hitler. Okay. He fucked everything up. I don't quite remember, wow. but basically okay. that was his stance. Okay. He was like Hitler fucked it up. I'm gonna go back in time and I not can't fuck it get up. Get the fucking trees! I will kill everyone in the world. <laughs> yeah, right. And he was a, a vegetarian and a painter, so he must have been going. I can't get the fucking trees. Damn! I will kill everyone in the world. He has this coordinate set for 1939. <laughs> Wait, 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 Berlin, wait, wait. Munich. What? Yeah. What is? What do you mean? Does it have like an app? Like it has number? What is this? So, so yes. Is there a flux capacitor? What's the, going the on? The dial of destiny, in theory, yeah. right, can predict. Basically, the concept was that Archimedes was trying to use uh, the moon and the stars and yeah, the whatever yeah, yeah. to predict patterns in, sure. in fluctuations and whatever. But once he developed it, this dial, it turned out that it could. It could predict more. It could predict fluctuations in time. Oh my God! He wants to use it to right. predict. He by their calculations, there will be an opening on August twentieth, nineteen sixty nine, mm. that will lead back to October twentieth, nineteen thirty nine, <gasps> and he can fly straight to Munich and kill. The good Na news about this uh -huh. is, if yeah. he's only going to thirty nine, yeah. he can't fuck up the original timeline with this. Sure. Because I think uh, Last Crusade is, I want to say, 36, 37. Okay, sure. I'm just saying right. that, in theory, at least we can't um, demolish this, you know? Uh, Indiana Jones really fucked up. He could have killed Hitler, you know? Well, right, so they have a whole conversation about... Oh, I did meet him back in the day. He was an idiot. He was a mass murdering fuckhead, as many uh, important historians have said. Indiana had him sign the diary. I okay. really hadn't seen any of them in a very long time, and okay. I only had time to rewatch Raiders. Okay, it's been decades. Okay, sorry. I you know that's I, and fine. I, and I, I never watched them like, like I a million times. Like, obsessively. Yeah. Like I might have seen these more than Star Wars. Wow. That's how wow. serious it is. Love that's that. That's how serious it great, is. Great. Great. Yeah. yeah, yeah no, yeah, yeah. not me, unfortunately. Okay, sorry, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. It was, you probably had a better experience. Maybe. You know. Maybe. Just let it wash over you. Yeah. You chose wisely. You chose poorly. I remember that. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, for yeah. the most part, it's a blurry wash. Hmm. Like, imagine the underground scene in Last Crusade with all the rats, right? Okay. Imagine yeah. that with CGI rats. Fucking sucks. Yeah, fucking sucks. I mean, and, you know, I'm sure that it's harder to do real animals and all of well, that yeah, stuff. Kida, but, like, yeah. you know, it just looks bad. Well, you figure it out. I don't yeah. know. You pick and choose. Yeah, and, and I think that's where it's like, I think someone needs to find a balance. And there was something, what did I see recently that they did a good job of that? Onyx, the fortuitous, well, and the destiny of souls. Yeah. Or words like that. I think that is what it was. You this saw that and you loved it. destiny of souls. But anyway, perfect mix of practical effects and then smattered throughout CGI where we could use it. So, quick almost break and we'll be back with, oh my gosh, even more CGI. <laughs> It was established earlier, little kid, 
has been being taught how to fly a plane oh, okay. by one of the guys. And pickpocket. And pickpocket. Well, he already knew how to pickpocket, but he's being taught how to fly a plane by wow, some this kid's friend getting a crash in the hotel course in life. In life yeah. And adventuring. Thank God he knows how to fucking fly. I didn't know you could fly a plane. Why, yes. Plan? No. They fly both of these planes yeah. through the time space continuum hole in the sky um, that just looks like a. A stormy vagina? As they're going, Indy's laughing and he's like, <laughs> Continental Drift! You didn't think about Continental Drift! They didn't know about that when Archimedes was alive, and so your coordinates are wrong. He's like, abort, abort, but they don't. They get sucked in through the time of vagina. He's like, ha, you were wrong, you idiot, Indy. I, I am here. We're in Corsica or wherever he wanted to land. I think it was Cor somewhere in Sicily, wherever it was, right? And there's a war. There's warships. But it's ancient Rome. <laughs> no. No, no, no. And it's Archimedes. Oh, no, no. And it's the two dragons in the sky and they no. scare the Romans who are attacking the Spartans or whatever. I forget. And, and all of the Nazis get picked off by the, the Roman and the Spartan, you know, old timey like shooting arrows and things and uh, Mads Mikkelsen dies. He gets stabbed, I think, by a Roman, I forget. By the knife that killed Jesus? No, but that would have been great. I mean, the Romans, come yeah, on, the whole yeah, thing? I love that. Full I circle? Love that. That what the been, fuck? That would have been full circle. What the fuck? Yeah, but no, he doesn't. Um, and then Archimedes steals his watch. Mads Mikkelsen's watch. Yeah. There's lots of watches. Yeah, a lot of watches. That will eventually lead him to Creating the Dial of Destiny? No, I don't think so, but maybe. Scenario? Maybe. It was unclear. The watch ends up like it, Archimedes was wearing Mads Mikkelsen's watch yeah. in his tomb. Right, because he had to. But, but then Mads Mikkelsen already had the watch where he put on all of his Nazi gear. Yeah. So it was like, well, well you know. Where, what, how did it, the, the circle the of time. The picture of. Linda Hamilton, even though that's how he fell in love with her because of the picture. Of, but yeah. he didn't know that at uh, so the time. It, we, time, you know, time travel always gets a little fuzzy. It's a little weird. Right. Anyway, the little kid lands the plane. Yeah. Phoebe Waller Bridge is like, so, Indy, we got to get you wait, on this plane and get you so back to modern medicine. Did Indiana Jones go back in time yes. too? And he meets Archimedes. But they managed, they managed to get out of there. Who's they? India, like they were like, oh. Well, so they are currently back. Don't in, kill them. In ancient Rome. Like, why weren't they? And like... Archimedes shows up, and they're like, they have a whole conversation in Greek. And they're like, wow. And and Indy wants to stay there, and he's like, um, fuck this. I. I, I mean, honestly, yes. Right. I feel like good for him. I mean, if he can survive the gunshot. Well, like, but that's why she's like, no, you've been shot. You, you need you to get modern medicine. They're going to fucking you know use what, leeches. I, they shouldn't have done that. And he's like, I don't care. They should have just said, that's fine. He's lost to history. And now we have a new chapter. Yeah. Where's Harrison Ford? Can we resurrect him? No. He's in ancient Greece. Yeah. We can't. Yeah. Close that tomb. Yep. But she's like, no, you have to come back to the time where you belong and whatever. And he's like, Ugh. and so she punches him, knocks him out. Schleps him on the plane, he wakes up in New York. Karen Allen is over his bedside. Correct. Oh, Bringing honey. in groceries. Bella. Mom. Hey. Not quite. He's like, oh, why am I here? I don't want to be here. I have nothing here to live for. And then she comes you in. You have me to live for, Indy. Yeah. Well, then they have a where doesn't it hurt moment. And he, he kisses her elbow. And Does she hit a mirror into his chin? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You just watched Indiana Jones. A mirror? She flips oh, the oh, mirror Oh, yeah, the spinny mirror. Sorry, I didn't know what you were talking Yes. <laughs> no, no. They're just yeah. old and cute. And you're like, okay, this is nice, but also, I don't know. It's kind of sad. Not sad, but like weird. Again, I don't, I don't want to see Indiana Jones as happily ever after. I mean, I guess I do in the sense no, of like... I don't. I don't want to say. No, I just wanted to live on forever as like a, and then he's always in that time and space because it's a fictional fucking character. No, of course, but like I don't want to see him live right. ha the happily ever. That's not what. That's not what's happening. Right. Mm. Well, that's what happens in this. Oh, boy. Um, and I'm trying to remember what does happen after that. Oh, they, 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 they Phoebe Waller Bridge takes the kids to get ice cream with Sala. The street urchin. What's he? What's he doing? He doesn't have. 
She's just going to adopt him? Like short round? Oh, the little kid? Yeah, he's just with them now in New York. I don't know. Saul lives in New York? Yeah. Oh, I thought he was in Tangiers. No, he lives in New York with grandkids. That also doesn't make sense. I know, like why? What? He drives a taxi. What? No. Yeah. So, um, you know, it definitely was too long. Yeah. They could have trimmed a lot. They go back in time. They go back in time. ancient Greece. Greece. And talk to Archimedes. When you say it out loud, it sounds really dumb. When you see it in the movie, you're like, well, I guess we saw that this was where it was going. It was not quite Crystal Skull-y, but it had a little bit of that, like, right. and then the aliens came down and taught us things that we didn't know, and that's how, every, you know, crop circles and whatever the fuck. These are not extraterrestrials, they're interdimensional. Steven actually didn't like that idea. It was a little bit of that, right? Right. Yeah. The, um, well, the adventures, you know, that he has had. Oh, right. right? And it was, so it was My apparently God. the Dial of Destiny. Yeah. Because it wasn't about time travel. It was only to get Indiana Jones and their planes back so he could, so he could scare off the, the Romans planes. so that then uh, they could survive for him to build the thing. To I, It's all very confusing to me. So, but anyway, it was destined and fated that this was going to happen. Uh-huh. Time travel? Okay. Sure. 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 Does the moon play? I mean, the, no. they're... The moon landing was just a red herring. Communism is just a red herring. Because you'd think, you know, Archimedes is the moon and he's sure. all the whatever. No, and the no, da, 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 no. You know, there'd be some kind of it like, was, it was, oh, a no. shift in the atmosphere no. of the no. moon because of the... No, no. Okay. Now, if a crystal skull had shown up on the moon landing, oh if they God. had had it just like, you know, there's the... No, you don't see the moon landing. I know, but like if you had, right? Sure. Like there's Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin. They're like, oh, here we are. And no, it's just, it's just there. Like, it's just off in the side, and it's just like a little, like, meh, meh, meh. Or if there was, like, a giant alien AI that was, um, and the moon was a, a super structure. Fuck the moon. Wow. Did you forget about wow, that movie? I, I had forgotten about that movie. <laughs> How could you ever I mean, I remember that? it now. Yeah. Like, I had, it had, the, it had escaped my, <laughs> fell out of there. It really just fell, fell out, out of there. So, yeah, I mean, it was a popcorny good time. Um, I mostly had fun. It was a little sad. The CGI was stupid for me, and the de aging was really, I don't care for it. Yeah. And I just don't know. It's just a sign for me of things to come. Yeah. And it scares me, and it makes me sad and weirded out, and yeah. I don't like it. Yeah. I don't like it. And the fact that he was okay with it I know. makes me concerned. I'm concerned. And I'm like, you guys, we need to put That's a foot like down. like when we saw Rogue One. Yeah. I was talking to someone, not you, I was talking to somebody about how terrible Peter Cushing looked. Yeah. CGI Peter Cushing. Yeah. And they said, who's that? And I said, Grandma Tarkin. And they were like, oh, yeah, he was great. And I said, he's been dead for, I don't know, 16, 20 years. Um, and they were like, what do you mean? And I was like, oh, oh no. no. They didn't know. They didn't know. And yeah. I thought, wow, is it just me? Or is it, what's happening? So I don't know. Yeah, Disney seems to really be unabashed about it. Again, I'm happy I did not watch. I yeah. would have been upset. You would have been upset the entire time. Um, and, but I, but I'm, ha I'm happy to always revisit these yeah. three classics. Um, yeah. I was saying, I really don't know if I can choose. Like, I really genuinely love each of them for different reasons. I love that. That's actually how it should be. Right? You know? The mark of a really, truly great trilogy is right. that you have, they're all great and fun, but different. Yeah. Because so, otherwise it feels... Repetitive. Repetitive. And that's how this felt was just a little bit of like, you know, they played Mad Libs with Indiana Jones tropes where it's like, okay, great. We'll do a little of this, a I little of I thought you meant they actually played Mad Libs oh. like while they were on the plane. And I was like, tell me more. more. You didn't no. tell me about this Mad, Mad Libs scene. No, like like it was like, yeah. and then you pick it. Oh, there's, Mads. instead of snakes, Mad Mads Libs. Mads Libs. Oh my God. No. Well, cheers to Harrison Ford. Yeah. But not cheers to de-aged Harrison Ford. Absolutely not. That's, that's where I'm drawing the line. Absolutely. <laughs>